Five for the final in game two of this series as Washington clinches it. They had to come from down 4-0 after three innings of play. Kevin Stocker, J.B. Long back on campus with the Huskies. Josh Tedeschi on the mound for Utah. And first time through the lineup, he struck out five dogs. You know, he's a battler. He's a veteran. You know what you're going to get with him. He even had a little bit of a scare for everybody where he went down and thought he might come out. But he knows that what's at stake, and for him, this could be it for him. He's like, I'm not coming out, and that's what Utah needed from him. Leading off the second inning, Shea Kramer pumps his first home run. It's one of those things where the offense isn't the issue right now for Utah. They can swing the bats and put up a big inning. Pitching's been tough, but early in the game, they put runs up and for some reason just couldn't hold that lead. Double play ball was the best friend that the Huskies had today. Three of them, three double plays, all of them ended an inning. Now, part of that is you got to tip your hat to the pitcher as well. I mean, Jordan Jones got himself into trouble, but was able to get himself out with these double plays. Some really good defense. Uh, ben Baird was a part of one of them, but then individually, this was the gem of the day. Ben Baird, it's nice to have a, a first baseman that's 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, that can give you that stretch. It's one thing with the Huskies, they know what's at stake. They can play a little defense. All five of their runs came in the fifth inning, mostly due to walks. But the game-winning hit belonged to Michael Petrie. Michael Petrie, what a fun kid. We did the interview after the game, and it's like my first time, but he looks like he's having fun. He's, he's been waiting it kind of in the wings, backup catcher. Might have found himself a new position on that outfield if he keeps swinging the bat. Uh, Stevie Emanuels came on to attempt a six-out save in the ninth with the bases empty and one down. Matt Richardson hit this to the wall and left that Mason Cirillo was able to bring in. The Utes would put the tying and the go-ahead run on base, but Emanuels got a strikeout to strand a pair and pick up the save, and that means Washington will have a chance to sweep Utah Sunday at noon at Husky Ballpark in Seattle.